Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's question is, what foods are highest in vitamin D? Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you know how incredible I think vitamin D is. In fact, it's not even a vitamin, and technically, it's a hormone, and more specifically, a steroid hormone. And yes, this is why it's so powerful and so essential for your health, fitness, and longevity. Now, below this video in the description area, I've listed the best source and supplements that contain the correct type and form of vitamin D, so take a look at it after you watch this video. But what if you don't want to take a pill, right? What foods are highest in vitamin D? Unfortunately, there's very little vitamin D found in food. However, the highest sources are oily fish, such as salmon, sardines, herring, and mackerel as well as red meat. Make sure it's grass-fed, grass-finished red meat, as well as liver is another good one, and egg yolks. Again, pasture-raised eggs, not the regular stuff. Now, there are also foods fortified with vitamin D, and thus it's artificially added. Some of them are you know, dairy products, breads, and cereals. You'll see that it says fortified with vitamin D. But these are the worst types of foods on top of it because they're processed foods full of junk. Plus, they are using the wrong form of vitamin D, which I'll get to in a minute. Honestly, the ideal way to get vitamin D is from the sun. Not just for the vitamin D reasons and the vitamin D benefits, but the sun has just so many other benefits. However, keep in mind that you do need at least 35 to 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes of daily sunshine hitting most of your skin, not just, you know, your face or hands. Unfortunately, because of modern times and, you know, we're always indoors these days, it's best idea to take a supplement to ensure you get adequate levels of vitamin D. Of course, get in the sun, but supplement with the right form of vitamin D. This is what I do with my own parents and myself. Now, keep in mind, that you should not just go out and you know supplement any form of vitamin D. First, it needs to be vitamin D3, not regular D or D2, which is found in most cheap supplements or multivitamins. Secondly, vitamin D works directly with another fat-soluble vitamin called vitamin K2, more specifically MK7. Together, they help optimize both absorbability and safety so you can maximize all the benefits while reducing any of the negatives. Also, don't take regular K or K1 or the synthetic K3. Again, it must be K2, specifically the MK7 version. So, again, to you know summarize, don't take either of these vitamins by themselves. Only take D3 plus K2 forms together in one pill at the same time, preferably in the morning with food or a little bit of fat-soluble food. Of course, now you might be thinking, all right, so what should I take? What's the best dose? What's the best brand? You know, what company do I trust? All the same important questions I asked myself over a decade ago when my vitamin D levels kept showing up to be low. Now, below this video in the description area, I've listed the best vitamin D3 K2 supplement together. Uh, this is what my own family and I take, which utilizes the correct dosage, the correct form, the correct ratios of the clinically researched versions of these two vitamins. It's called Perfect Vitamin D and K. The best part is all you need to take is one small pill daily and it does it all, saving you time and money, which I love. So scroll down. Click the link, take a look at the ingredients, how it works, why it's better than other products, take a look at the customer reviews, then give it a try and let me know how it works for you. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends and family so they can benefit as well. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do so, you know, click the notification icon so you'll be alerted when similar videos and topics are released. More importantly now, in the comments section below, let me know what you've learned today. Uh, what questions you have about today's video? What topics you want me to cover in the future? Again, these videos are all for you, for me to help you achieve your health, fitness, and longevity goals. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I wish you a very happy and healthy day.